Welcome to this Google Hangout tutorial by the Mary F. English program at Northern Illinois University. Google Hangout is a popular video chat platform that allows up to 10 people to talk at the same time for free. All video chatters must be a member of Google+. But if you live in the U.S. or Canada, one of your Hangout members may participate using their landline or mobile cell phone number. Hangouts works through your computer's internet browser, but does not have a mobile version. It'll let you share your screen, has a built-in instant messenger, and more such as collaboration on Google Drive documents, and an on-air feature which will automatically record your video chat and post it to YouTube. Unlike Skype, Uvu, and FaceTime, Google Hangout requires no installation to get started. You will, however, need to sign up for a Google Plus account, which you can do by visiting plus.google.com. Once you have an account, you can start Google Hangout by searching for it and clicking the first link that comes up. Or, if you have a Gmail account, you can start a Hangout using this icon. Okay, to start our Hangout, you would give it a name and invite your participants. And this doesn't have to be people who are in your contact list. It can be anyone who's on Google+. It will automatically search for their name and their contact information. You can add one telephone participant if you live in the United States or Canada and you're calling a US or Canada phone line. Uh, you can type in the number here and they will be able to join the conversation without a video camera. They can just use their mobile or landline telephone. Over here is a cool feature called On Air. If you activate this, then the conversation that you're having will be broadcast live on YouTube and recorded so you can save it for later. Now, I'm not actually friends with these people, so I won't bother them right now. And you just click Hang Out, and you're off. Notice you can start a Hangout without any participants, but to bring people in, you'd use the Invite People button, and you could search or include a telephone number. You can see the chat window right here. So everybody that's involved can talk via text. You can activate the screen sharing function by doing that. And now my screen is being shared with all the other participants in the Hangout. If there were 10 people in this, you know, if there were more than one, you could click on their screen to bring them up. And this is really trippy with the screen share on. There's also Google Effects, which is very important. You can add sound effects, which I don't know if that's audible in the recording. Um, you can turn yourself into a pirate. There we go. And that's about all Google Effects does. Over here is Google Drive. And this is a really cool function. If you are collaborating on something, you can share whatever documents you have in your Google Drive. Google Drive is like Microsoft Office, but it's Google's cloud-based version. Your documents would be listed here, or you could create a new one And now you, along with everybody else, could collaborate on a document simultaneously. To close it, we'll go here and click Google Drive again. And there's a ping pong app. There's some other games and stuff. You can browse those by clicking the View More apps and see what other options. There's some useful stuff, some silly stuff in here. And up top is the volume meter. You can mute your microphone, you can turn your camera off, and your settings, which will let you adjust what devices you are using for your webcam and microphone. And that's about it for Google Hangout. Uh, it's a very simple to use interface, and with it being free and allowing you to talk to up to 10 people at the same time, it's a very useful tool. You can end the call by clicking this.
Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn about some Google Hangout alternatives, check out our tutorial videos on Skype, Google Voice, FaceTime, and Uvu. Thank you.